Okay, basically this tutorial is going to be upon uh, making... This is, this is a phenomenal shot that I took, but because of the foreground and background, I mean, it makes it difficult to clarify what the action part of the shot is. And once you stare at it long enough, you realize that this five foot three girl just got off the ground that far. So what I did was I laid um, a lens blur over everything else so that she pops out of the picture now. So now if you look at this picture, your eye is automatically drawn to what she's doing. Rather than over here, you're looking at 90 different things. Um, this works in a lot of different uh, factors. What it's just going to do is it's going to put an exclamation point on what your focus on the photo is if there's too much going on, i.e. sports. Or it's a really good, uh, it's a really good way to make a... Uh, a photo look like a movie photo um, depending on how much blur you put in um, there's two techniques you can use um, there are two different uh, set two different uh, filters you can throw on here um, two with completely different effects um, but we'll go through both of them um, but the first thing you want to do and this is the tedious part now there's two ways of doing this too uh, my personal favorite um, mainly because it's all about time consumption. Depending on how much time you have, depending on what, which operation you're going to use. My first and uh, my favorite option is to take your pen tool, create yourself a new path uh, in your layers. If you click over on paths and click create create a new path, and then zoom in and uh, create path points all along your subject until you have them completely uh, surrounded and the ball which in this case was the ball. Um, the other way of doing this is to take your uh, magnetic uh, where go? magnetic lasso tool and um, what you can do is just basically draw around the outside of whatever it is your trying to get together here and it, it, it does get some parts it doesn't get others you gotta go back in and let's just for argument's sake say that this is all we're gonna do with a magnetic lasso tool now what you have to do is you have to take your uh, elliptical marquee tool and depending on whether you want to add you hit shift or if you want to subtract from that space you gotta hold the alt button and it's just tedious work to try and get it masked in the way you want it done. I'm sure there's another way of doing this or better ways of doing this or easier quicker ways of doing this. I just don't know how to do it to make the side selection. So I use what I know best which is the pen tool um, and the new path. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark out the new path and and then I'm going to pause this and we'll come back. Okay, so basically what I've done is um, I've surrounded her and I'm about to close off the link for the ball. Um, so she's selected and the ball is selected and not nothing else. So what you want to do is right click in your path um, and where you made this there. And you want to go make the selection at zero pixels, which is going to select just her and the ball. You can go back to your layers palette if you want. Um, what you want to do is hit select and inverse. This also works with the magnetic tool once you have it selected. Um, go to select and inverse and it's going to select everything but her and the ball. What you want to do now is, is a, a layup, a blur. If you go to filter, blur, and then go to motion blur. I'll show you the first one. Or not, not motion, damn it. You go to fur, blur, lens blur, and then uh, the radius is depending on how much of a blur you're going to get. Um, for this one, because I didn't want to make her look like I cut her out and put her in there, you'd want to go somewhere between 10 and 13. Uh, make sure your distribution's on uh, uniform. And there's many alterations you can make in here. Like you can drop the threshold depending on how uh, how arty a piece you're going for. And that should have previewed, but it didn't. 
So that's not a surprise. Um, and you can alter your blade curvature and your rotation depending on you know how you want your blur to look. And that's basically it. You hit Control D to deselect, and there's your photo. Um, you can have another effect using the same technique, which is the motion blur. And uh, what it'll do is it'll make it look as if she's really rocking there. You'll have to, uh, you know, adjust your uh, adjust your uh, angle for where she's jumping to. But I mean, you can get the idea. And it's great for uh, it's great for motion shots and sports shots and stuff like that using the same effect. So I figured I'd just wrap the two up into one. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So uh, good luck.